today's episode of Moto Cheese. Maybe you can hire the M Team. The following movie is rated I. And what is up, Atari? Let's go into New Milford and fill you up with gas, see what we get for mileage. Maybe we should hose those rims off a bit. <laughs> Don't know why it starts so hard, but it sure as hell feels like it's flooded out. Yeah, I scratched them up a little. Not a little touch up paint, a little fix. Yeah, warmer out. That means we'll be able to paint soon. About an eighth of a tank. 293 kilometers. Stop at the dollar store, pick up some little dish soap and little coffee thing. A little more than a dollar store. Didn't they raise their prices? A few moments later. Let's see how she starts. See ya. She was admiring the microvan. <laughs> Smells like Slim Jims out here. Well, it'll work good with 89. I'm gonna stick with 89. 8.5 gallons. No way. 7.4, that's all I can get and spit back out. That's what she said. 314 kilometers. 314 kilometers is 195.111 miles. Wow, almost 200 miles. So 195, and I did go off-roading. Many miles, hours, 26.36. Getting close to that 30 mark. I thought it'd do better, but I did do a lot of off-roading. Super glue, double side foam tape, cheap pair of pliers, two foam tapes, coffee creamer, gotta have a little of that, Dawn dish detergent, some coffee that's really horrible, gotta have a toothbrush, a little baby spatula. That's it from the dollar store. Let's take a ride to Jeffro, see what he's up to. I know he's got a new project going you guys will probably be interested in. Might do a little gallivanting around Torrington. Forgot to put my dollar store pliers in my tool bag. I know, they're probably worthless. But, sometimes you need a long nose plier. It's definitely loading up. You can hear it when it starts. And you can see the exhaust fumes burning off once it starts to warm up. You can smell it, it's rich. So 26 miles per gallon, that's not too bad. I did a couple hours of off-roading. I bet you I can get 30. Let's see what's going on in Jeff Rose garage. I don't see Tiny Taka. Looks like his wood stove is going. Here comes Tiny Taka. Yeah, I just got here. Going golfing, is he? Oh, uh, I don't know. Whammy. See the truck? I didn't get to check it out yet. I just actually just got here. So this is your newest project for your son, huh? Yeah. 12 valve. Heat pump on it. This one's got the intercooler too, huh? Yeah. 12 out with a heat pump on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got the inline pump. That's the best one. Is 
Sounds good. Big intercooler. Yeah, yeah. Rolling coal. That yeah, frame looks in pretty decent shape, huh? Yeah. Do you think I had a? Yeah, he said the, the saddles. I had to re. You know the they the, you know the drain holes. In? Yeah. It was rotted out in that one spot in there. Place it with the steel. The frame's in good shape. Yeah. And what I'm gonna put on there? I bought this too. And she's got a large block in it. Oh yeah. Yeah, 454. 454. Wow. Large box. That's a big one. Let's you said you got a running too, right? Yeah. Let's see if we get it fired up. You got a pumper. She's carbureted. Sounds good. Yeah, it's that. Manifold leak. Yeah, it's over here. That's common. My motorhome did the same thing. Blew the gasket out. That's the dump you're putting on? She got some rot. Yeah, need Nothing. a little bit of love. Uh, fix it. What I'm going to do is just clean, you know, sandblast it all off. Yeah, you should be able to take that whole subframe. assembly subframe right off, huh? Yeah. That's got the two stash and ram, huh? Yeah. They come with a boat anchor plow. Oh, yeah. A lot of people like these though, yeah. especially on the heavy duties, you know. Yeah, like she's, she's got some issues. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. She's, she's been welded up a little bit, yeah. Yeah, look at it up top there. It's all... Oh, I see. She's good. Well, it looked pretty good from here. <laughs> Boat anchor material. We got dual exhaust on this. Yeah. I think got a flat tire. Thing. <laughs> this one a side. few of them. It's only flat in the bottom, right? Yeah. Oh, it's got the big rear end in it, too. I'm going to use the rears in the 1970 Chevy. Yeah, you're going to use that rear in your 70? Yeah, front and rear. You can change the gears, though, because it's gas. Oh, they'll be high. They will? Yeah, being uh, automatic. 350 gear ratio. I don't know. i got to yeah, check them out for you. Yeah, 355s or something. Yeah. I know how to decipher what it says on the, in the glove compartment what it is for gear ratio. I don't know. I don't know how you would do it in there. It's supposed to say on the on the sheet on inside the club apartment what ratio it is. Oh, it is? It's supposed to. Oh, I didn't know I that. I don't see nothing that says rear on it. Yeah, I didn't know that. Just, you could probably look it up online with the VIN number. Yeah. What year is this? 80, 89. Oh, you're collecting acorns too, yeah. huh? Yeah. Yeah, how many years this thing sat? Seven years. I, I dumped... Oh shit, little marble mist girl down the cylinder, down inside the curb. Yeah. This has got plugs. a carburetor on it, too. That's what baffles me. Huh. Don't they use well, the throttle body fuel injection? Uh, I don't, yeah, this this is about the year they started switching over, I think. Is it? Yeah. But this motor's for sale. Runs good, didn't yeah. smoke or anything. I'm, I'm a diesel person. No use for gas. No use for gas. So this has been working good for you then, huh? Yeah. Let them go to town scaling that body off. You know, taking the air scale. Oh, yeah, needle scaler. Yeah, these things work good. Ah, yeah. oh, man, I forgot to bring that freaking pressure washer thing. Oh, you did? I totally forgot. I was going to call you this morning and see what, what your game plan was. Yeah, when I talked to you yesterday, I was like, why not take a ride over, see? Hmm. See what they have for steel. Bought some Rust Oleum. Yeah. Primer, uh, supposed to be primer red. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like paint red. <laughs> Need some uh, fenders. Yeah. A little bit of body work here. He's he's learning. I gotta fine tune it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all new to him. Well, you gotta start somewhere. Yeah. Looks in good shape though. It's a good beginner truck for him. Yeah. That fender can't be that much money to buy though. Yeah. Hey. Let him work on it. Yeah. I mean, no sense in fixing it up perfect. Yeah. It might be next week wrapped around a tree for crazy. Yeah, I'm going to put that mirrors in that truck. Because they do not match that front and rear. Yeah, you're saying. Yeah, they fight. Plus, I want to drop, take the springs out of the front, get the front end. Drop her down a yeah, little. Yeah, it little rides, rides like a truck. 
big time rides like a truck. Oh. Yeah, I mean, they're not given. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's too much spring. Uh, there's spring. a lot of spring. Yeah, a lot of seven springs in the front is too much. Are well, you going to go down to five? Yeah. Yep. Come back from uh, Poughkeepsie the other day with this and went right up the back of Wingdale Mountain. Yeah. You know, they took the circle out. So I went right up the back of Wingdale Mountain, fifth gear, 50 miles an hour, all the way up, fifth gear, pulled it. Okay. Yeah, all the way here, too, fifth gear, all up to all the hills, everything. Really? Yep. No, it's still not wanting to start. I'm giving a little gas sometimes. Yeah, see how that is? You don't pump it? I think it floods, that's why I kind of try to give it just a little gas. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It, every once in a while it starts like really hard like that. Yeah, you can smell the gas. Yeah. Hmm. It's, it's flooding. I think the choke closes too soon. So I want to try to get in there and I found, I opened a plate up. You probably saw it in the last video. And there's a, the adjustment for the choke is right there. I should crank that in a couple turns. got a little bit. I'm still working on my mileage. I got 26 the last time I checked. It's 45 here, right? Yeah. You, you can do 50 then. It won't bother you. <laughs> I'm always doing 15 down through here. If you stay, right, seven, if you stay within 5, they usually yeah, don't bother you. Seven. They got everything set on 7. Good thing we weren't racing in mini trucks today, huh? <laughs> Could have been flying through here. You got to be careful. This thing don't go 50 miles an hour. Right. Tell me where that red truck is. No, I think it's this one. It's still going up. Right there, Logan Steel. Mm. Near the other red truck. <laughs> the yeah. destination is on the right. And there's a bargain barn. I guess I'll park it over here, huh? This must be the office. Oh yeah. Holy cow. They got some steel. Holy cow. They got I beams. Oh, they got nice thin. Oh, look at that. That's what I need for my top bar. Yeah. Nice and thin. The battery here is a little bit thicker. I want it as lightweight as possible. It's really not going to hit anything. Now I got to find some six inch flat steel. I don't have my tape measure. I wonder if they have six inch. I don't see it. Six inch you want? Yeah. That's four, I think. Oh, yeah, that's four. Oh, you got little eye beams, too. Oh, Look at them little eye beams. That. Well, that piece of channel, I only need, I mean, two feet would be more than I need. You put the uprights, right? No. I, the one that goes across oh, that I'm going to mount my oh, winch to. And that's too big. That's probably eight inch. What do we got over here, Brad? Should have took my saws all. Cause then if if you gotta buy a full length I could have just I imagine they got a chop saw here. Hmm. I'm trying to think of make a steak you know, steak pockets with a little bit too thick for steak pot. Yeah. I mean you know too too wide. Too wide. Yeah, unless you took a 4x4 four four and notched off 2 inches to sit in it. Yeah, then you'd have a 4x4 four four sticking up. Yeah. No. 99 pounds are left, $1.50 a pound. Oh, that is another bargain barn. A lot of nice flat plate steel, yeah, huh? Yeah, you look at it yeah. right here. Yeah. That's probably 6 inch, so I need, this is what I need. Yeah. I might be five inch. This is six, probably. Grab my tape out of my micro van. Of course, I didn't measure. So I need like four, four to five feet. There's six inch right here. This is the stuff I need for the sidebars. Actually, there's a thin, this is thinner stuff here. Five feet of that. Oh, okay. Here you go. Use this stuff. 
<laughs> For side rails? Yeah, I'm joking. Oh, you got a piece of tape you found. Four and a half. That'll work. That will work. Five inch. That's too big. Yeah, no. Just say cut it down. If I cut this off, when you're pulling on a winch, that'll flex. You know, it's like this wide. That'll take the whole piece. And then I need some of that round tube in that other room. Because this is four inch, right? Yeah, I need that three inch stuff in there. That stuff would be perfect. Maybe look at all these little pieces of diamond plate if you want to do a project. Oh, here's some more flat. That's some coal rolled stuff there. Now, what do you need the flat for? Oh, they have the two side. Items. Yeah, the two okay. sides. Yeah, it'd be a little thin. The stuff over there is perfect. These are short Here pieces. Here's two pieces right there. They ain't big enough. No? No, they're a little over two foot. Yeah, it's, like, it's 25 or 25 and a half inches tall. What about that? Nah, it's already, it's a notched out piece. Someone cut it. They got it right over there. Oh, here's some more though. No, that's too big. Seven inch, five inch. I, I think different. That dump body floor, I'm just, just gonna leave it alone. Just, just prep it, it up and put, that, put, put the, yeah. Right. First choice you want of the flatbed. I guess we got to see who to talk to. How long is this? If I could fit this in a van, I'd take the whole thing. Was it eight feet? No, we ain't gonna fit. I think I can only fit like five feet in the back of that van. Even on the angle? Five and a half. Yeah, because the seats. I don't even have an octagon piece of steel there. Now you need a hammer plate. Yeah, I got the whole bench. That same thickness. I got one of those. Used for hammering on my bench. Galvanized or aluminum? Oh, aluminum. Aluminum bike products. Aluminum. Wow. Probably aluminum and stainless in here. Yeah. There's some aluminum diamond plate. Yeah. yeah. You know the square on the dump body, the square pockets on the side? Yeah. Cut out. Put them right over it. Yeah, yeah you could do that. Yeah, yeah paint them so it don't rust anymore yeah. and then just pop rivet them right on. Yeah. That'll work. I mean, you gotta measure it up and come back here and, you know, get a bunch of these, you know, a bunch of these over it. Yeah. That'll work out good. Yeah. Oh, they got little pieces of tape all over. Huh. It's a good idea. I wonder what the heck they were making with that. Well, that makes a nice big garage, huh? Yeah. I wonder how long that lasts. I wouldn't want a tree near it either. Yeah. A tree limb would poke a hole right in that. Sorry about that. No problem. Um, it's pretty much the bargain market is kind of self-service. If you get something you want, we can do it by the pound. Yeah, uh, like he wants. He I need. Uh, I can only fit five inch in a van. I would have should have took my truck, or five feet. I mean. Five feet. What do you charge to chop it off if I need to the chop it? Is, some some things are between five and fifteen bucks depending on what it is that's got to be cut. But uh. Yeah, I need some. There's a that three inch round tube the thin wall stuff out there the pipe c channel i'll take that and then there's a flat plate six inch i need to have chopped in half or five feet of it five feet yeah which one this one yeah these are sold for this you know okay yeah you're, you're probably looking about 25 dollars for cutting for everything you know, but we can cut it shorter now. two cuts yeah three is three no that one i could take the full take that one? okay and then we could we would be by the weight yeah, what do you get? It's dollar, dollar fifty, 50 a pound. pound. All right, yeah, I'll do that. Tell me, what do you need off that? I'll take five feet just to have extra. Yeah. Thanks. Not a problem at all. Seventy-four pounds. I gotta lay out my shipping blanket. Where'd that guy go? 
I guess we just go in the office and tell them 74 pounds. Yep. Yeah. Good. Got everything now? Yep. Yeah. 74 pounds and two cuts. 74 pounds and two cuts. Yeah. It was like 131. Do a cash credit. Uh, credit if it's cheaper, I'll do cash. Do like 125 cash or like that. Yeah, I probably got that. What's that vehicle you're driving? Oh, it's a little key truck. I do YouTube on. There's 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. So is that like a little camper almost? Yeah, I'm kind of turning it into a camper. Yeah, it looked like it. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. yeah. What do you do on YouTube? I just do like the, I have motorcycles mm -hmm. and I have a truck like that mm -hmm. and that van. And then I do modifications on it, you know, the yeah. lifts and yeah, yeah. I'm put, I'm making like a push bar for it now. That's what I need cool. to steal for. All right. Thanks. Bring, bring it back when it's done. I'll check it out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Take it easy. All right. Yep. Nice meeting you. I'll back over to the scale. Yeah. Make it easy. Yeah. Just back up and go there. You know. Yeah, I've never seen that before. When that pushes up, it pushes that lever and it raises it up. Pretty neat idea. It is. Perfect. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's see what they got in here. Not quite a bit of steel, huh? Is that what you're looking for? Yeah. I'll make a steak pop. So you can use two by fours to slide in it. Yeah. Hey, I like that idea you guys did on that plow on that old square body. Well, it's just got the chain. Yeah. That's pretty clever, isn't it? Gosh. Yeah. Oh, I needed some stretch metal, too. Like okay. this. Like that would have worked. Uh, you know what? I could pick that up at friggin' Tractor Supply. They got small pieces. That's a hell of a shear. Isn't it? It looks it. You can tell by the gearbox on it. <laughs> Look at the size of that cast iron gearbox. Yeah. Have a good one. That's why you know, you know, if you come down for you know how to get here. All right, Jeffro. All right. I'll let you grab your See? paint. That was fun. Oh yeah. Kids gonna be happy. Oh yeah. Take it, thanks. Yeah, I'll see ya. See you, Tiny Tonka. <laughs> Have you played Atari today? Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.